Hello and welcome to today's thought for the day. I have recently been talking about how we can encounter God. Hmm. It's a it's a kind of interesting thing, and I, and I guess the obvious answers are reading the Bible or praying. But there's also some other ways of encountering God too that I think are really really important. There's a Bible verse that is in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Somebody asked Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? And Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength. And the second part is loving your neighbour as yourself. But love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, all your soul means about like talking to God, that's the prayer part. With all your mind and with all your strength. With all your mind, you're supposed to love God with your mind. You're supposed to use your mind in loving God. And that's the, um, that's the thing I want to think about today. Loving God with your mind. How do you do that? Well, I think you love God by using your mind. God gave you a brain. God gave every single one of us a brain and and we've got to use that brain. Now, I think for some people, I think God has given you your brain to use to figure out the things that we can see around us in this world. So going back through history, Isaac Newton, who said that all you'd need to prove the existence of God was the single thumb. That was Isaac Newton saying that he he posited the theory of gravity and the five laws of thermodynamics. It's really exciting, amazing stuff. Back back in the 1600s, he was the guy who, who figured out the theory of gravity when an apple landed on his head. Uh, he, he thought that God had made the world with rules, that if we looked carefully at the world, we could figure out how it all worked. Oh, my word. So this is a way that we can encounter God. We can encounter God in science, in looking at this world that he has made. And... Uh, just recently, there's a brand new book that's just been published recently called Book of Wonders. And this book, I absolutely love it. It's supposed to be for like sort of seven to 11 year olds, about that age. But I'm 47 and I think it's fantastic. It's got loads of different stuff about how wonderful the world that God has made is. Um, this page here, Amazing Atoms. It's got, it's got mention in here. Uh, when talking about there's some elements there um, it's got about our unbelievable universe and facts about the universe uh, there's a bit in here about one of my favorite favorite scientists whose name is Georges Lemaitre because he's French I oh, know uh, Belgian sorry not but not French Belgian he's a Belgian priest this guy so he's a priest he's a, like a you know like a like a vicar in the church I've lost the page where it gets mentioned. Where's he got to? Oh yeah, it's right at the beginning. Because he had an amazing idea about how the universe started. So scientists a couple of hundred years ago, they used to think that the universe had always been there and that it was all sort of in, in place, everything was in place. But Georges Lemaitre, he noticed, like looking up at the stars, he noticed that everything in the heavens in the skies was moving right this is the page about the unbelievable universe and i'm going to read this little line here georges lemaitre was a belgian priest astronomer and physicist he came up with a very important proposal about the origin of the universe this proposal became known as the big bang i once heard somebody say that the big bang, big bang disproves the idea of God. The person who came up with the idea of the big bang was a vicar with one of those little white collars on. God made the universe. And Georges Lemaitre, he thought that the way God did that was with this incredible explosion of light as particles and matter flew out in every direction. So if you if you get this book here, 
Book of Wonders, um, you might want to ask for it for, as a Christmas present. I love it. It's great. Um, it's called Book of Wonders and it's published by uh, people called Scripture Union. If you do a little online search for it, if your parents do an online search for it, or if you want to ask for it for a present from your best friend, that sort of thing. It's got loads of stuff because when we use our brains, we can figure out things about this world. And sometimes as we do that, we feel an incredible close to, closeness to God. There's another uh, famous, there's a mathematician back in the 1800s called Blaise Pascal. Uh, he's a French mathematician. And he, he said that when he was calculating the, 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 these mathematical equations that were so detailed, he felt he saw the mind of God. And he talked about the fire that burned inside him, like, like a passion that burned inside him as he explored the incredible mysteries of maths. So that is a way that we can encounter God. We can encounter God by loving him with our minds. We can use our brains to figure out stuff about God, stuff about this world. And we can think it all through. Um, don't ever let anybody ever tell you that science and, and faith in God don't mix together because some of the most incredible scientists throughout the centuries have loved God with a huge passion. And I like to think of myself as a little tiny bit of a scientist. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just a vicar, really, not a, a scientist. But I, I like to look at the world and figure things out. And I, and I love this incredible incredible universe, incredible planet, incredible country, incredible people who God has made. And I think God's given us brains to figure out all this different stuff. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a song. Um, it's quite a long, it's quite a long song. Uh, I might, you might find it a bit waffly. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say a prayer first and then I'm going to play the song. And so if you want to stick around for the song, you can. But if you're bored and you've already heard enough, or maybe you want to rush off and order that book, you can do that or you can stick around for the song. Either way, I'm going to pray first. Father God, thank you so much that you made this incredible universe, but then you gave us brains to, to figure it out. Lord, thank you that you gave us eyes to see and, and, and mouths to talk about all this stuff. And, and Father God, thank you that we have clear skies on some nights when we can look up into the heavens and see right across the universe to stars that are billions of light years away. Father God, thank you for the great people who have wrestled with science throughout the years and all of the different things that they've discovered that have made um, all of the different stuff we have possible, like the devices that we're looking at this on at the moment. Lord, I pray for each person who's listening to this. Lord, Lord, may you inspire them with that really real uh, interest and fascination with scientific things. And uh, Lord, for some people here, Lord, I, I pray that you will help kind of a, that they will they will know you close when they are looking at the scientific things of this world. Lord, thank you that we all meet you in different ways, some through poetry, some through song, some through science. Father God, may we know your joy and may we know that if that's us, Lord, may we know you with us really close through everything in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Right, like I said, uh, it's a long song. You might want to stick around for the first verse, second verse. If it gets too long and boring, uh, like I said, please feel free and I, I forgive you if you switch off. Yeah. 
up so will I I can see your heart in everything you've made Every burning star a signal for our grace God of your promise, you don't speak in vain, no syllable empty or void. For once you have spoken, all nature and science follow the sound of your voice. Catch your breath Involving in a pursuit of what you said If it all reveals your nature so well I I can see your heart in everything you say Every painted sky, a canvas of your grace. If creation still obeys you, so will I. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. Mountains bow in reverence, so will I. If the oceans roar your greatness, so will I. For if everything exists to lift you high, so will I. Then we'll sing again a hundred billion times. God of salvation, you chased down my heart through all of my failure and pride. On a hill you created The light of the world Abandoned in darkness to die And as you speak A hundred billion failures disappear Where you lost your life so I could find it here If you left the grave behind you so will I I can see your heart in everything you've done Every part designed in a work of art called love If you gladly chose surrender so will I I can see your heart a million different ways Every precious 
just want a child you came to save. If you gave your life to love them, so will I. Like you would again a hundred billion times. But what measure could amount to your desire? You're the one who never leaves the one behind. Thank you, Lord, for your great love for us. Amen. Well, well done if you made it all the way through the song. I know that was a long one and I did get a bit squeaky in the middle of it. Um, I'd like to say a prayer of blessing for you. Father God, uh, may you pour out your blessing on the people watching this. And I pray in particular that people will have their eyes open to the incredible wonder of your creation. And Lord, that people will be drawn to explore and investigate and figure things out. And may your blessing, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, rest on every single heart and every single mind today and forevermore. Amen. God bless you.